Hey, what up with y'all? So today, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little something that I don't normally agree with, and that is edit this video. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to upload it to my computer and put it through my editing software. It's something I hate to do, but I did just get a new 75 megabyte up down with my internet service provider, so that should take off some of the burden. What I'd like to talk about today is this machine right here. It's the Tascam US1800. It's got eight XLR inputs, and currently they are connected to a Nady seven piece microphone set. So as you can see, this box is empty, and they are placed in and around my drum sets. So this is a video really for drummers that want to start doing recording. I got my bass phone, bass microphone. I got my overhead. These are Phantom Powers. And then I have the four three toms plus a snare. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play the drums and record it. And so let me show you a little bit about my setup. First of all, I have seven channels. Channels one through eight, six is my studio mic. I think I've showed it to you before. It's in here. But the reason that my studio mic is on six is because linking up with... Studio One, uh, what I can do here is I can go to Rock Band setting, and in the Rock Band setting there is a full drum set. Um, let me close out the mixer. And so in the full drum set, if I go ahead and increase my tile size to medium, you can see kick drum is defaulted to input one, so that's what I have here is the kick drum from the snare. Then it's number two, number three is your low, medium, and high toms. Six is the hi-hat input, which I don't have a hi-hat input, so I just go ahead and remove that track. Ride and crash is seven and eight, and then it has the overheads mixed on nine. So going into the AIO setup, you see that it mixes one and two. What we really want to go for is seven and eight. So that's why I use this setup the way that I do. Ooh, I'm getting some flicker. I guess my HDMI cable's starting to go bad. All right, so now I can just straight up hit record, and I'm ready to go, and my microphones are making noise. And so we'll go ahead and play the drums for a little bit, and I'll go ahead and show you what the recording sounds like. So throughout this time, this is where I will edit the video to make the drum sounds be perfect. Alright, so here's the drums just through the uh, Galaxy Note 5. simple little setup. You got your seven microphones. I was able to purchase those for about 50 bucks through a used store. Um, I got the US 1800 for 150 on Craigslist I want to say it was. And obviously then you have massive amounts of U XLR cables. I also have the ability to Purchased used cables through the same store that sold me the microphones. And I got the drum set for 200 bucks. Brand new Ludwig set. Um, just spent enough time looking for it. Guy was out there. He bought it for his 8th grade son who quit the gig. Uh, he decided he didn't want to be a part of the band anymore. Wanted to play sports. So his dad 
you know, his loss was my gain. He was only asking 200. It's not like I beat him down for it or anything like that. Maybe I'd have felt bad if I did, but brand new Ludwig uh, red pearlescent. Um, and then I upgraded my hi-hats from the original. Spent about 30 bucks on that. But other than that, talking about 200 bucks, microphone was 50, Tascam US 1800. I think I got that for 150. The computer is actually an old uh, machine that they used for computer records in one of the hospitals. So Windows Vista is definitely out of date. This is Studio One version two, but you can see we got all our bars right there. And so we'll go ahead and see what this sounds like on playback. And again, this is without me editing this video. This is just through the, just through the uh, Galaxy, Galaxy Note 5. And so I'll go ahead and pass this video along to my editing equipment. But, you know, one of the great things about having seven channels is being able to put compressors, EQs, uh, drum effects on every single individual channel. Um, it does make it really easy to use and edit. But I don't know what I'm doing in that department, so I just play. And I mix in stuff there, and so producers can mess around with it if they want. But for me, that's all I've got on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. U.S. Tascam 1800. Get a little idea about the quality of what you're getting into if you're thinking about purchasing one. Um, and again, it's just through Nady microphones. The Nady microphones are probably the cheapest on the market. So you have a lot of different uh, room to move, but it interfaces really well with Studio One and looks great. All right, we'll see you out there.